Hello coders. So we have to go through chapter six and uh, because we've moved along kind of quickly we um, have to recover a few items which I think is good. It'll give us a chance to go over some things that uh, some of us some of us might have struggled with and uh, also give us a chance to re-emphasize some important points in our programming. So chapter six the name of the chapter is how to code procedures and event handlers. We've been doing that already, so it's nothing new for us, but uh, we'll go ahead and, and uh, continue onwards. So I have a, a form design here, just a couple input boxes and a button, and uh, we're going to practice a little bit of uh, coding and uh, see, uh, uh, like I said, most of this is going to be reinforcement for us. So if you recall, uh, I'm going to want you to start up on top, and uh, the way that we do that is simply to put in our little apostrophe and put your your name next put in another apostrophe and put in the the uh, I would put the title of whatever this is so uh, I'll just for right now put chapter 6 uh, at practice I guess is what I'm going to call this and uh, the date which whatever the date is so Make sure that you include that information for me when you do this, because I'm gonna—I'll be taking off. As you know, I've already noticed two points for uh, every time this is missing. It makes my job a lot easier if you have that information. Okay. So we'll be talking about subroutines and procedures a little bit in here, and uh, one of the things that I want to talk about is that what I'm trying to teach you when we talk about subroutines and, and functions are generalized to other programming languages so most likely when you leave here you won't be programming in Visual Basic you'll be working in C++ or C Sharp possibly Java and so I want you to get used to using functions specifically as functions where you pass them an argument and they return a value and uh, if you have a, some other type of routine like a module or, or, a, or a procedure where they just handle a whole bunch of different uh, subroutines or other functions but in, the, in this lab for uh, subroutines, our subroutines will take some values, which isn't nor something I normally like, but you know they can do that. We'll take some values and, uh, and run some data. But again, I'm not a big fan of doing that in subroutines. They really should be done in functions. So um, I'll teach you the way that I want you to do it. Please uh, do it the way that I'm asking. And that way, like I said, uh, it'll carry over to your other programming languages. So usually the first thing that I'll do is I'll go back here, if I have a button, I'll go ahead and click my event handler. And uh, this is just kind of good practice. You don't have to do it this way, just this is the way I do it. I'll make my event handler, I'll comment it out and say this is going to be my event handlers. I don't know that I'll have more than one event handler, but let's just say for now that, that this is the case. And um, I've already created a subroutine up there, so I'll go ahead and do main here. Normally, if I haven't done that yet, I'll still type it in, but then I'll comment it out like that, so that way it's ready to go. But now I have my uh, I have my private subroutine, which is actually an event handler, and I have my main subroutine up here, which is now ready to do business. Um, if I'm going to run any functions, I will go ahead and, and set those up too, although they won't be uh, they won't be doing anything yet. So let's go ahead and, and run through that real quick. We'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and run through the, uh, the skeleton of doing that. So um, this is just a practice one. So let's just say private function. And the private function is going to be, um, we'll just say, uh, we'll just say add. Um, so this function is going to add something. And here we're going to go ahead and uh, dim a variable because every function has to take an argument and it has to return something. So let's go ahead and, and uh, create something. So we're going to dim our, uh, our output. And uh, I'm going to dim it as a, you could do this as however you want. I'm going to do mine as a decimal or I mean a double. And uh, let's go ahead and write the return. And we'll go ahead and, and put the, uh, the argument that's going to go in. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's see. Let's do x. Uh, 
minus double minus double. Okay, so this function is going to take two arguments. Uh, x is a double, y is a double, and it's going to return output. So now this function has been created, the skeleton for it. We have a private function, and we named it add, taking two arguments. Uh, we have an output. It's also a double. It's going to do, we're going to do something with it. I don't know. And uh, we have our main subroutine. So right here, we have the skeleton of our, of our application. For almost every application that you're going to write for me, it's going to look something like this if uh, you're doing a form application. Your name, your, the name of the uh, assignment up on top with the date, the uh, main subroutine that's going to be handling all your other subroutines or functions, a function that's going to actually do something, and uh, your event handler down below. So this is, this is the way that I want things done. Yes, um, you can do it differently. There are, there are uh, many programmers that will structure this a little bit differently. I have found over the years that this works very nicely for me. It's a nice, organized, uh, modular, easy to debug, and easy to work with. All right, so let's go ahead, and we're just going to do the simplest thing. Um, I'll go ahead and go to the functions, and I'll go ahead and write my function. That's usually the first thing I'll do. So I'm going to just say uh, output is equal to x plus y. And that's it. So remember, again, the way I want you to think about this equal sign is not really equal, but assigns. Because that's really what's happening here. We have a, a memory position named output storage slot. And we are assigning it the values of whatever's in memory X plus whatever's in the, in the, uh, in the memory uh, named Y. So we're adding two memory sections, two, two memory values, and we're assigning it to this memory value, and then we're outputting the memory value. That's it. So our our, private, our function's created. Uh, we named it add. It takes two arguments. We we uh, add the two arguments and uh, we assign them to this variable output, and we return the output. That's it. Okay. So now let's go. So the function is written, and it's it should work. So now let's go ahead and do our uh, get our information. So if we did this right, this should be text box one, and let's go ahead and look at our, our properties. And remember, you can always open up properties if you go here and do the Solution Explorer. Um, that'll bring up Solution Explorer. Uh, you also want to pull up um, the Properties window. Let's see what that's it. Solutions. Well, the other way to do it is just do a right click and pull up Properties. And there you go. Okay, so yes, this is text box one, and this one is text box two. Excellent. All right, so this is exactly what I want. Um, we're well in this example. We're, we're doing the simplest thing. We're just adding two numbers. So let's go back to to this position here, and let's grab our our information. So we're going to say dim. Uh, we're going to take the first one. We're going to say x as double. And we're going to grab it from uh, from the text box one. Do it the same with the next one. So now memory the memory of a x as a double is being assigned to whatever's in text box one dot text. And the same for y, except for text box two. So now we have these two information. Now we can say, okay, let's out, let's uh, set text. Let's set the uh, uh, text. Um, oh, we don't have a text box three. We need a text box three. Okay, one moment. A little design issue. So text box. Oh, let me do this real quick. So we got output. All right, so now text box three dot text will be equal to, and this is where we'll call our function, we add, we need to pass it our two values, so x and y. And that is it. We have our main subroutine being called from, so we start here, always start here, the, the uh, event handler calls main, main is here, main declares some values and assigns them to these two text box values. Text box 3 takes that 
uh, we, we have our, our function we created. It takes that function, passes in the two variables. It's going to be returned the output, and it's going to, it's going to assign that output to text box 3. So we have the simplest skeleton structure of, uh, of an assignment that we would normally have. So let's go ahead and run that. I haven't done this list. Hope I didn't forget something. <laughs> All right. Well, let's pull it over. Hello. And so we have it over, and this is going to represent X. So let's go ahead and put two. This one here is going to represent uh, Y. So let's put that as three. And then let's click our button, and there you have it. So it took X and Y passed it to our function, which just added them together, and returned it back to text box 3. So that's the simplest example of our skeleton that we can do. Our event handler, calling the main subroutine, assigning two variables, outputting to the text box while calling a function. So like I said, it was a very simple rehash of uh, a subroutine with a function and uh, an event handler. And so in class, we'll be doing the simplest exercise of doing this. Um, this will be a graded assignment. I want uh, to you guys to demonstrate that you can do this in class without uh, other resources. So um, I, think, I think we can do this uh, relatively easily. That's it. Have a great day.